Your back affects your daily health. Welcome to another installment of Your Spine, Your Health. Because you have a spine, it's important to understand what chiropractic care means to your health. Your health always starts with a regulatory college. In this case, the College of Chiropractors of BC serves to ensure you receive the appropriate diagnosis and care from a qualified chiropractic doctor today and tomorrow. That's also why BC's chiropractors fund research and education. Today, I want to introduce you to Dr. Richard Brownlee and Dr. Paul Wimet, whose Kamloops MRI allows weight-bearing images. Probably 80% of the people that I see are related to spine problems and chronic pain is a big part of that. So a lot of people, when you talk to them, they have pain when they're up and around and doing stuff and they don't have any pain when they go and lie down. And again, in our human body, we fight gravity all day long. We function in gravity. We need to see it in that capacity to know what it's doing and how to diagnose problems. And the MRI does show problems with the disc, like you can get little tears in the outer part of the disc called the annulus, you can get disc herniations. Those things all show up on the MRI. You can get spinal stenosis, but one of the things that this machine shows that other machines don't show is, is instability. And instability means abnormal movement in the motion segments in your back. So you can do a, a recumbent or lying down, supine MRI. We can do standing, we can do sitting. Uh, we can do multi-position, so again, if somebody was to say it only hurts when I'm in this specific position with my neck, we could likely put them in that position to see what it looks like at that time that they're symptomatic. Upright weight-bearing images are important for diagnosis because it gives us much more information than we've had access to before. Remembering our body functions upright can be especially critical pre-op to avoid things like failed back surgery. It can also be an important educational tool for the patient and doctor alike. So doing the MRI and proving to people that they don't have any major structural problem in their back, I think is just as important as identifying a source. If you can prove to them that their back is structurally sound and that their back pain isn't related to causing damage, then you're more likely to get them to do exercises and help themselves. As you can see, it's not just about what we can do for you today. We're working to build a better tomorrow with better health outcomes for you. The College of Chiropractors of BC sets the standards for safety, outcomes, and your informed consent.